Hi everyone, I'm Albert Pinello with the Xbox team and I'm back here again with Scott Evans who runs the engineering team on Kinect. Um, we've already covered on Kinect some of the tips and tricks to get it set up um, when you first take it out of the box. And now I want to cover off a little bit about specifically the voice, the voice commands, uh, and what to do if Kinect doesn't hear you. Let's talk a little bit about actually the actual voice commands. There's a lot of really cool voice commands. Again, at home, I've completely moved over to using my voice. Um, and uh, But there's some sophisticated commands and the cadence that you talk to Xbox. Just think of Xbox as another person in the room. Speak to it in a normal speaking voice. Uh, don't try and yell at it. Um, and you know you address it with Xbox as the keyword and make sure that you have a good uh, kind of pause before and after so that it knows that you're talking to it. Don't say Xbox pause, hey Albert, how's the weather? It won't be able to hear the difference between that speech command and my conversation with you. So give a little bit of a pause before and after your command. So Scott, once I have Connect set up and it can hear me, we actually have some pretty powerful voice technology that powers the system. Um, but there's two different ways that you can communicate with, um, with the Xbox, right? Yeah, that's right. There's global system commands that are always available regardless of what game or app you're, uh, you're in. Uh, and then there's what we call see it, say it mode, which allows you to speak to the specific on-screen elements of the app that you're in at that given time. Yeah, so give me an example of how the global commands work. Yeah, so I'll, let me show you. Uh, and a good example is just the go to command. Uh, Xbox, go to Titanfall. Xbox, go to Internet Explorer. Xbox, go home. So you see, regardless of what app I was in, that go-to command was available and I was able to jump from one place to the other. Talk to me a little bit about the, um, the see it, say it mode and how that works. Yeah, with see it, say it, basically anything, any of the text and items on the screen you can uh, speak to as a way to navigate them. Uh, and you can bring that up by just saying Xbox select. So I'll, I'll do that now. Xbox select. And now any of that green text, I can just uh, speak and it'll go to it. Titanfall. And this allows me to basically talk to the app in front of me in what we call active listening mode. When that text is green, you can speak it. So I can use global commands to go to different apps, and then it'll stay green, and then that's, I use the see it, say it mode to actually speak anything that's on the screen and activate it just like if I was using my controller. Yeah, that's right. And then you can also use that to continue to navigate from one place to the next. You can go into settings and go into Netflix, and then while you're in Netflix, you can even be picking the items uh, within your Netflix queue. Awesome. So between the global commands and the see it, say it, there's actually a lot of commands available to you on the Xbox. How do I know what the right thing to say is at the right time? Oh, well, the console will actually give you a list of available shortcuts um, right behind the Xbox keyword. So I can, I can show that to you now. Xbox. More shortcuts. Now here we see on screen a full list of commands that are available. These are the global system commands. We also have these on a PDF on the website as well. Cool. Um, another thing that I think is awesome a lot of people don't know about is I can not only use my voice to control the actual device, but I can use my voice through the IR blaster and connect to control um, other um, devices in my living room, right? Yes, yeah, absolutely. My best example of this is the Xbox volume up command. Uh, when you use that, it'll actually IR blast and control your TV or your receiver to turn the volume up. So you guys just recently added a feature that, that I can set how much um, the volume goes up or down um, on my own. Before, I think it was three. It would go up three notches every time. Yes. But we can actually change that now. Right. It's configurable now, right, in settings. I can show you. Uh, we'll just go over here into settings. And we'll go into the TV One Guide section. And then under troubleshooting, there's an audio option. And under here, we can see volume change colon three. That's saying that it, when you say Xbox volume up, it'll change your volume three notches. And if I select this, I can change that from anywhere from one to uh, 10, 10 notches with one voice command. The other thing that, um, that we have is we both actually have accounts on the system, right? So we've, we're, we've both been recognized. It can see both of us in the upper left corner. You know, notice that both of our um, identities are there. And we haven't talked about the fact that, that Connect can recognize you and I, and we can each have a custom experience on the system. That's right. It can tell who's issuing which voice command. It can tell the difference between your command and my commands. So right now, this, for instance, is on your profile. That's right. Because it's red. Xbox, show my stuff. 
And since it recognized I'm, I'm talking, it's now moved over to my profile. So That's every right. time I load a game or an app, it's going to load into my version, not your version of the app with my settings or my save games, right? That's right. If you use the global command for Skype, it'll call someone from your contact list. Uh, if you go to notifications, it'll show your notifications. And if I say, if I tell it to go home, it'll go to my home. Xbox, go home. And there it is, my home. Back now. to you. Well, I want to thank Scott for taking us through some of these tips. There's a lot of powerful stuff that you can do with the system. One thing I always tell people is, just like the first time you play a new game, you're not going to be a master at it right away. So I always suggest when you first get Connect set up, spend some time. Spend some time with the voice, learning how the voice commands work. Um, I know at my house, I can't go back. Once I can control my audio system, my entertainment, and my games with my voice, it's a really powerful tool. So for all the people out there, when you get your system set up, watch the video, take some time to learn the system, learn how to communicate with it, you're going to have a way better experience. Thanks, everybody.